queens, it's Viv again. Before we jump in, I want to say thank you so much everyone for the Love is Love group picks with me. I am all about promoting love, so it's great to see all the positivity in the Star Corridor. Speaking of positivity, I am featuring your positive Star Corridor group picks with me on the right panel of my video. So if you want a chance to see your picks featured, do a group pick with me. You can currently find me in the hot list over here. Uh, depending on when you are looking, I might not be here anymore, so if you see me, be sure to give me a follow so you can find me easier in the future. How do you give me a follow? If you are looking this at your point of view, there would be a heart sort of around like the top of my profile pic. Be sure to destroy that heart. And while we are destroying hearts, be sure to destroy the subscribe button at this video too. It would help me out a lot, especially with the YouTube algorithm. All right, so uh, going back to uh, before, the reason I wanted to promote love is love is due to Homophobia in the Star Corridor. If you're active on a Love Nikki Reddit, there was a whole post on it. Uh, let's actually go over it right now. Okay, so this is a post by uh, Naruto Runner three nine four, and it says a uh, discussion homophobic people in SC harassing others and devs not caring. Okay, so uh, let's uh, read this up. So I don't know how many of you have noticed, but if you go to the hot list, you can currently find a player named Yafa in first place and her posts say they are getting harassed by homophobes for posting LGBT plus entries as a result of them abusing the report button. Yafa's posts are getting deleted, not only the LGBT plus ones. This by itself is absolutely unacceptable, but it gets worse. Yeah, you know, this is terrible like back in the days in love nikki there were not a lot of you know um, male suits so people are doing like girl on girl love and that was a really really common thing back then now we are wondering what was posted over here the user introverted beans uh, have some screenshots which i will show you so here are some of the deleted pick so it's basically this wow look at all the constellations beat roxy okay um it's uh two people leaning down looking at the stars it doesn't look too bad and then uh next one it's um two people sleeping together wishing i could hold you forever okay i don't see anything wrong with this either and then this one shh kiss me feet so that's, you know, actually, this is really cute. I don't see anything wrong with this one. I like that how the gate makes like a heart kind of thing. That's uh, really cute. I fail to see how kissing is considered not safe for work. What? Wait, what? <laughs> kissing is no, kissing is not not safe for work. And there's this one. Thank you for bringing light into my life. Again, I don't see anything wrong with that. Uh, forever and always, uh, feet to last. And it looks like a kissing uh, motion here. Nothing wrong with that, in my opinion. So cuddling is lewd now. Both Nikki's have clothes on. There's really no implications of anything sexual. And then there is this one, um, feet can see lewd. You know, I actually did a Star Corridor pick like this before. And actually, I did get some hate for this because... Ugh, it looks bad, I guess. I mean, I get that kids do play this game and their parents probably don't want them to see like uh, bikini photos or beach photos, but okay, then why aren't kids banned from the pool or the beach? You know, like I, that's just my opinion. And up next, it's, <laughs> I catch me, I'm dying for honest honey. Oh, big mood here. So I think, these photos were removed for some reason by the devs. I don't know how. Um, okay, so there is some harassment going on that is uh, not good. So over here, this user Norse, at first you said words not to kids, two, you make gay bad post, three, I don't know if you're a boy or girl, four, I am not the only one who reported you, and I guess it just cuts off right there. So it looks like this user had a problem with him being unknown gender and making gay bad posts. Uh, okay, that's weird. I mean, if it doesn't hurt you, what's the big deal? 
the user Yafa reached out to the dev about this harassment and the deleted photos, and this is how the devs responded. Again, Introverted Beans was the one who posted it, and it says, uh, "Dear Love Nikki developers, my username is Yafa. My ID is blah blah blah. People are harassing me. Dot dot dot." And then Nikki Customer Service says, "Dear player, please do not post photos which are not suitable for minors in this game." Whoa. Okay. Um. Looking at this, okay, from my experience with Love Nikki customer supports, I am aware that their English is not very good. Like they are an overseas team, so I think they just don't understand what's going on, or maybe they didn't even read this and they just responded whatever. But this still is not a good look on the Love Nikki devs. I'm just saying that. Like you've seen the photos、uh, right here.、Um, I don't know about you, but I don't see any issues with these photos. They look fine. I wish the support team would have given a better response. It seems like they were about to get off of work for that day, and they're like, "Okay, one last email. Let me just answer this, and then I'ma go home." That's what it feels like. I just, I felt like they didn't put any effort. I don't think they even like saw the pictures. Like I've reached out to the devs before. The last time I reached out to the devs about a missing item, I sent them a screenshot of the items in the store that were missing, and they literally asked me to send another screenshot of my missing items in my wardrobe. I'm like, wait, you want? Two screenshots of that? Like, did you not see my first one? Was that not enough? Okay, but yeah, I don't think the support team are bad people. I just think that they need better training on how to handle tickets.、Uh, anyway, let's go back to、uh, Naruto Runners Three Nine Four's、um, Reddit post and let's keep reading.、Uh, Yafa emailed the dev saying people were trying to get them banned and kept reporting entries that were not against the rules. And dev basically sided with the homophobe, saying that Yafa's posts were inappropriate. If I read Yafa's post correctly, they even have proof of homophobes trying to get Yafa banned and harassing them. A screenshot, and the devs still don't care. I came here to see if people were talking about it and couldn't find any posts, but maybe I just didn't notice. So sorry if this issue was already brought up. I don't really know what to do about this. Obviously, when you see a homophobic post in the Star Corridor, report it. But other than that, I feel powerless. Emailing the devs seemed to have failed. So this is really frustrating, dude. For reals, man. If you have seen the videos of me trying to reach out to the devs, like it took me a month of back and forth emailing them to get them to finally help me. <laughs>、uh, yeah, I I think the devs need more training. <laughs> For reals, I regret not seeing Yafa's post sooner because if I had known this was happening, I wouldn't have brought the new recharge suits. I refuse to give money to people who side with homophobes who are clearly harassing other people. I've seen a few posts where the homophobes took a group pic with LGBT plus people and told them to die and other horrible things. Honestly, I have not seen any of these lately, but I believe it. It's not just the Starry Corridor; it's the whole internet in general. There is always going to be people trying to bring you down, and it. Sucks. You can't avoid the hate. So、uh, TLDR: the LGBT plus community is getting harassed, and the devs don't care, and even sided with the homophobes. Edit: there are so many comments on this post, which makes me very happy, as it shows people really care about this. A few points I'd like to update after reading the comments.、Uh, please do write email to the devs. Yafa didn't get the response they hoped for, but. If enough people speak up, they will care about it. That is 100% true. And number two, the response which Yafa got was likely due to the devs not actually reading their email and just doing what they usually do. <laughs> yeah, that's so true.、Uh, remove posts with enough reports, but it doesn't make this okay. That's true too.、Uh, just gives a bit more perspective. And three, other than sending emails to the devs, what we can do is comment on Facebook slash don't spend money on a game until we get a proper response. Yeah, I don't think that we are going to get a proper response. Another edit, Yahoo said the devs reviewed their account and still decide that it's not appropriate. Oh no! Now I'm really disappointed in them, and I really believe that they will only listen if we email them about how wrong it is. Okay, so I noticed this before, and this is what I ended up. Doing so, here is、uh, my post in the Star Corridor, right? 
I wrote this in my comments. So let me open this up. Love is love no matter the gender. I'm lucky to grow up in a place that has always been supportive of same. Well, I meant to say sex here, but it got bleeped out. Uh, gender love, but I know not everywhere is accepting. If you feel like an outsider, just know that I support you. If you support love, Give a like to this pic. Also, please don't be homophobic. Remember back in the days, uh, women didn't have rights. The people who condemn women back then must feel pretty dumb now. Kick. <laughs> uh, give it a couple of years. I have hopes uh, the future will look brighter for the LGBT community. So yeah, a little personal background about me. I was born and raised in San Francisco, California, aka the gayest city in America, and I love living here. I feel like I sort of live in a bubble because everywhere I go in the city, people are so open and loving to the LGBT community. Like living in San Francisco, you can't be a homophobe. I mean, you can, but you're not gonna have a good time. I can't say I'm surprised at what I'm seeing in the Star Corridor. Everyone has different beliefs. I just wish that some people can be more open to people who are different than them, you know? Like I mentioned, women suffrage here. Like back in the days, women weren't allowed to vote and we didn't have any rights. We've come a long way now. Now in America, we have our first woman VP and it's a huge step forward for girls everywhere. Like those people who suppressed women back then must be pissed right now and it's hilarious. That's why I made this post. Let's piss off the homophobes they can't report all of us do girl on girl love do boy and boy love i know love nikki will not do anything about this because they themselves have done girl on girl shipping and boy on boy shipping hello nikki me or my favorite shade lando dude if you're a homophobe playing this game you are wrong the main character is gay ha Jokes on you, homophobes. All right, um, everyone, that is all for me. Thank you so much for watching. I just did this video so that I could spread awareness of what's going on in the Star Quarter and hopefully spread some love too. Mwah, mwah. Love for you, love for you, no matter who or what you are. All right, everyone, subscribe or I'll delete your love in the key account. Peace, peace.